everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new tutorial featuring our Simon Says Stamp Stamp Timber exclusive with Clearly Besotted. This is called Lift Me Up. And this encouraging stamp set is full of really adorable hot air balloons. I'm gonna be using many of the hot air balloons in this set to create a beautiful night sky filled with brightly colored balloons. So I'm starting off by stamping the images onto some Canson Bristol paper. This paper is a great surface for working with markers and other mediums. I really like using my Copics on this particular type of paper. I find that the paper blends well with the markers. So as I'm stamping the images, I'm using Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink, and I'm carefully building a scene across this entire piece of paper, which is just smaller than four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm stamping the images a couple times in some cases using my MISTI tool to help me make sure I get a really nice crisp black impression. I'm also masking off certain areas very roughly just to give a little bit of extra dimension to the scene to look like some of the balloons are behind other balloons in the scene. To color my images, like I mentioned earlier, I'm using Copic markers. I'm going to mostly focus on how I created the night sky behind these critter balloons because I think that's where these balloons really pop. You could of course put a beautiful blue sky behind here and create a daytime scene, but I really love how the contrast of the dark night sky makes the brightly colored balloons that I've colored here all pop off of this page. And that's creating a lot of contrast. So first I'll touch on quickly just the coloring that I used for, throughout the, all of the balloons. All of the balloons feature a two to three color blend. For the most part, I stuck with two colors just to make it quite simple. I'm also doing some tip to tip blending to help blend certain colors together a bit better. I'm using a lot of bright colors because like I mentioned earlier, I wanna get some nice contrast. So if I use bright colors, those are gonna pop off of that night sky really nicely and give that really great contrasted look. I'm also trying to make sure I leave some highlighted areas, a lot of highlight actually, because I want the balloons to look like they're illuminated. There's not going to be any moon or anything creating a light source, so to speak. So I wanna give these balloons some bright color highlighting around the edges especially. I will also add some highlights with a white gel pen after I've done all of my coloring. I'm bringing in my markers here for the night sky. The markers I used are BV29, 17, and 13. These are really beautiful blue-violet tones. You'll also notice I bring in a BG02 marker and go over top of the shading that I create with those BVs. The BVs I start with first, here I'm bringing in that BG02 and going over those purple areas and that's giving the sky a bright look. I will go back over top of the blending in each spot with the BG13 and B17 markers to make sure that I get the blending really, really smooth. Right now you can see some harsh edges. That I left there as I'm coloring because I want to be able to make sure that I don't oversaturate the areas of the paper. So if I let those areas sit for a little bit and then come back to them with those same markers that I wanted to smooth out the blending with, that's giving the paper a chance to dry a little bit before I saturate it again and blend those colors out better. I'm also skipping over the clouds that I've colored right now. I'll show you how I'm going to create some really great dimension to these clouds here. I start off by using the darkest BV markers and adding those colors towards the bottom. As I work my way up towards the top, I'm making sure I leave a nice highlight area. That's giving those clouds that same illuminated appearance as the balloons. When you look at a pictures of a night sky, you always see the clouds have a really dark shadow towards the bottom, but then the tops are brightly illuminated by the moon that's in the sky. Now my moon isn't showing in this sky, but the, you get that same effect, even though there is no moon to create the light source. So once I finished all of my coloring, I repeated the processes that I've showed you throughout the entire card. So I figured it was easier to show you the process and then I replicated it throughout the entire portion of this card. Now I'm bringing in my sentiment. And this sentiment is from the Lift Me Up stamp set. I'm going to heat emboss this onto some Gina K Blue cardstock. This beautiful teal color is so pretty and works really well with the BG colors that I have in my scene. 
I stamped it with Simon Says Stamp Embossing Ink, and I'll use Brutus Monroe of Alabaster Fine Detail Embossing Powder to emboss the sentiment. I'm attaching that onto my scene using some foam tape, and you'll also notice I added some iridescent stars and some mini silver star confetti around the sky to give some nice sparkle and embellishment to the scene. I used a heart die from the Simon Says Stamp Envelope Liner set to add a little heart to the end of the banner, and that adds in that nice pop of pink that helps tie in the rest of the pinks that are in this card. And it also draws out the purples that we have in the sky. This card is super bright, but you can see how by using those really dark, intense colors for that night sky made those colorful balloons simply pop off of this card. And it's a really great way to add a lot of neat contrast to your coloring by incorporating those really dark colors. I hope that this video has inspired you to do some contrast Copic coloring of your own and some inspiration on using our new Simon Says Stamp Clearly Besotted Lift Me Up Stamp Timber Stamp Set. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back again very soon and have a great day. Bye.